Rodgers, though, let's go there. Mm-hmm. I was appalled by this trade for the Jets, <laughs> and I was with Sean Fantasy last night, and he's like <laughs> trying to sell me on. He's like, "Look, we have this window. We pot, we might have seven Pro Bowlers, you know, down mm-hmm. the road, and we need legitimacy, and we needed a guy, and you just got to give up what you got to give up to get it." And the counter is they had no other offers. He was a sunk cost. He had nowhere else to go, and he was going to destroy their team. Why did they have to give up actual assets? They get, they moved back from 13 to 15, mm-hmm. gave up a conditional first, and they gave up a second in this year's draft. Why not just a second and be done with it? I think they tried. And I think that Brian Gutenkens, the GM of the Packers, said, yeah, he won the MVP in two of the last three years, so you can call us back when you're serious. And there was a, a staring contest there. There was a the Jets saying, no, we've got leverage. Rodgers won't go anywhere else but here. And the Packers saying, no, we've got leverage. Because you might have to start Zach Wilson next year if you can't figure this out, right? The yeah. Lamar situation was the trap door for the Jets. All they needed to do was go fly down and take a meeting. All they needed to right. do was present like they had another franchise quarterback option besides Rodgers. They were so fast to say, nope, we're not interested in Lamar. We're, we're good. We, we know our plan. And to me, that gave the Packers a, a, a good amount of momentum, a good amount of leverage such that they were able to get what's a square price for an MVP quarterback. Get a first round pick. What'd you think? I just think they blinked. Like they needed to get this. Blinked? I think they had a seizure. (laughs) What do you mean? Right, right. I mean, I just think they wanted to get it done before the draft, you know, because they had to go through this whole plan to do what they're going to do in the draft. They they wanted to have the quarterback set. And so waiting until after the draft, it seems like it would just like throw everything in upheaval for them. And so, and maybe it came down from up high too, like to just get this thing done. Well, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like the owner's like, I'm old, go get him. (laughs) I I might be dead soon. I don't have time to wait. There was that reporting that Woody, the owner for the Jets, was ready to send a first round pick for Rodgers. And then Rodgers hopped on McAfee and was like, I was 85% retired. And he was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, let's not commit this much draft capital. But they went in for a penny and for a pound. Like in March, they committed with Alan Lazard and, and and with the discourse with the Jets, they or the Packers, excuse me, they committed to this idea of Rodgers as a Jet. And once they're their their pot committed like that, Guda can squeeze on him. And I think that that's 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 good work by the Packers front office. It reminded me of succession when Logan Roy, like season three, was like, Oh, I just gotta get this deal done. Yep. And he's just screaming at people and calling everybody a fuck face and telling them to fuck <laughs> off. They just kind of that. I just don't get it. I would have handled this. Like, I would love to play poker with the Jets. Yes. <laughs> Be like, all right, you guys in? I'm totally in. I have two aces. Yeah. I'm in. Okay, I'm out. Um, I just thought they should have pretended they liked Lamar. Yeah. This isn't hard. Just pretend you like Lamar Jackson. Pretend you're going to be like, you know what? Going to wait till after the draft. After the draft, maybe we'll make a play at Lamar with our next two first round picks. And then the Packers are like, oh shit, what if they do that? Or other player like Trey Lance who's still out there potentially as a trade partner or whatever. Don't let Mike White leave. It's Mike White, right. but still, you're not... Yeah. You're, you, you, you're showing the Je- the Packers the only quarterback we have is Zach Wilson, who everybody here doesn't like. <laughs> the team... <laughs> all the teammates <laughs> tweeting immediately after yes, this right. went through is like, oh, God, that yeah, is bad. That, it's just, there was right. There was very little... There was a Tom Brady play. They could have been like, Tom... Yeah, we're gonna pay you a million dollars. Just pretend for twelve hours, like <laughs> there might be some mutual interest in the two of us. Yeah, we'll wire you the money. Right. We'll be good to go. Well, they got them. It's just funny. Like I just feel like they gave up an extra asset for no reason. Moving back from thirteen to fifteen, who cares? Yeah, the second round pick that makes sense. But then the other one is gonna be sixty five percent of the plays becomes a first round, which pick. is as light of a condition as you'll find know, in right? a trade. Yeah, like everybody kind of expected it's got to be tied to performance, Pro right. Bowl, playoff performance, or in the ideal world for the Jets, tie it to 2024 playing time. Ensure that Rodgers plays for another right, season. Right. To tie it to 2023 playing time at such a low number, huge win for the Packers. I don't think it's going to be an emotional farewell for from Green Bay for Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think? Like when he goes back to Lambeau, do they play him the I Will Remember You video or whatever, <laughs> like one of those? Or, what, what's the one they play with the, what's the one they always play when everybody comes back? Like, oh, I don't even know. I'm coming home. Oh, I'm coming home. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Like, do they even so. play a video on the screen for him? No. My do big Packer question fans is, like him? Yeah. Is my he get booed? Oh, 100%. You got to <laughs> boo him. You can't <laughs> not boo him. He, oh, in eight, him wearing eight is going to be weird, too. I'm not about that. Like, oh, it's his mm. college number. But he can't wear 12 because of Namath. Like, I guess Namath gave him his blessing, but he still wants to wear eight. So that's going to be weird. My main question is just, do the Packers draft the first round receiver yeah. in the year that Rodgers leaves. Well, just there's to, a couple of them right kick, in that area, Kick him too. out the door. Just bye-bye. I would love it. Well, part um, of the, they, there was some indication that they moved up. Uh, the Packers moved up in this because they want to get a receiver. They want JSN, Jackson Smith, and Jigba. 
And so this like helps them get it, which is even juicier. As you know, I only root for the content if it's not one of my teams. <laughs> and this was much better content for us. Aaron Rodgers in New York on the Jets. Yeah. Incredible content. Jordan Love, is he good or not? <laughs> the Ewing theory potential of the Packers, which even Ooh. though they won a title with Rodgers, it's been, mm -hmm. I don't know, if the past 10 years, there is some Ewing theory potential. Um, and they're in a bad division. It would be hilarious if they went like 11 and six and won the NFC North. Mm -hmm. So many things I can't wait. So I'm glad it happened. I just thought it was weird. Okay. Okay.